An injured eagle found in a Newport News park back in March is spreading its wings once again. There were no injuries to the bird's wings, but the eagle had a very high level of lead in its system, likely causing its inability to fly. 10 on your side's Amy Avery joins us now as our cameras were rolling for its release into the wild the day after Independence Day. Fitting, right, Regina? The Wildlife Center of Virginia says after four months of treatment and care, the eagle was ready to fly high once again. And many people couldn't pass up the opportunity to see her soaring into the sky the day after the 4th of July. Following the sounds of freedom on the 4th, a sign of freedom is flying on the 5th. An eagle found grounded in Newport News Park in March returns to the skies. I have to admit, I got a little emotional watching her fly off. That has to be one of the coolest things I've probably ever seen. People who were walking in the park found the injured eagle and called ranger technicians Reagan, Abby, and Andriana from the city of Newport News to help. She was found on the ground, unable to fly. Went over there and with a net and plenty of towels and a big crate and, and we got her. They say she was difficult to catch. She was clearly very injured as well, but she still had a lot of fight in her too. Mm -hmm. So we're also doing our best to remain protected from her. The women say it was sad to see the bird grounded, but relieving to get her to the Wildlife Center of Virginia. When she got there, she didn't have any fractures or breaks to her wings, so they did an array of tests to determine what was wrong, and her blood work showed high levels of lead in her system. We see a lot of bald eagles with lead toxicity, unfortunately. Um, actually, about three out of every four bald eagles that come to the center have some level of lead in their system. After she was given some medicine to remove the lead from her system, she was moved to an outdoor flight pen. It doesn't take long for birds of her size if they're, you know, down and out for a week or two. Um, it can have big consequences. They lose that flight conditioning that they need to be able to survive in the wild. And after four months of rehab, she was ready to take flight soaring above expectations of those who saw her at her weakest point. That was exactly what I was hoping for, to have her just fly right off into the trees, back to her home. And what better day to release her into the wild than the day after the 4th of July? Because just like her persistence in her recovery process, she symbolizes the strength and freedom of America. Amazing to see so many people come out here and be really interested in her story. The Wildlife Center of Virginia says this particular eagle is patient number 316. She was given that number because she was the 316th patient taken in just this year. Halfway through the year already, they've already seen more than 2,000 patients in their rehab center, and they expect that number will top 4,000 by the end of the year. Now, a way that you can help decrease the amount of lead found in wildlife is if you hunt or if you fish, you're encouraged to use non-lead ammunition and tackle. They say this simple switch can save a lot of wildlife. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.